Hi guys and welcome to another Connemara Shooter. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a modification I made on that the small full cock trap I showed you in uh, previous reviews. Um, I've made it a wireless trap so um, basically we're going to have fun with that. Um, why do that you're probably saying uh, why would you want to do that? Um, well the thing is what I've done you can actually wire it to any type of trap. Um, it's the same principle. I've just wired it to a small trap because I have access to a gun club and I, I don't need a, an expensive trap at home, you know? It's only for mucking around with. So, uh, as I said, you can wire this to any trap and uh, this is basically it. Uh, just stick it on with Velcro here, here, and I'll be showing you the ins and outs of it later. But basically, when I grab the gun and I squeeze here, when I have my hold, it'll fire. Um, there's a pressure switch here and uh, I don't have to change my stance, anything. And the beauty of this is as well, you can walk around and you don't need two people. So the trap is loaded. You do have to load the trap every time. That's the only misfortune with the whole thing. Um, but didn't cost big money to build, small money, very small money, like 30 euro. Um, so the beauty of this is anyway, you can walk around and you can take your shots from where you want. So it's like having tra multiple traps, if you know what I mean, because you're not standing behind the trap all the time and you're just making it that little bit harder for yourself. Uh, the trap I have is really for fun. It's not, you're not going to become a world champion with it by any means, you know. Um, it's just for mucking around and getting it out of my system if I need to shoot a clay, you know. So uh, we'll get on with it and we'll show you everything, okay? Okay, just coming down here to the unit now. Um, here you have your actuator, it's called a central locker motor. Uh, you'll find it in the panel of a car door. Very cheap to get. Um, comes with this arm and everything, and an arm for bolting on, and it's very handy for this, and it's all sealed. One unit. And uh, in here is my wireless receiver, and inside that it has a relay for switching the power to the uh, actuator. You have your buzz bear and you have a, f uh, a f uh, blade fuse here, um, like what you have in the car. So basically it's an all, it's a 12 volt system, which is great. Um, I've built in redundancy here because if, um, this is my wireless um, transmitter. And as you can see, works away there, lovely. But I've also built in redundancy. So if the battery goes in my transmitter all I have to do is plug the foot pedal in here and I've loads of leads there I have a double lead of this so it gives me about 10 meters okay now just moving up here we have obviously your cable to a 12 volt battery um, these are quick release terminals they're great you can get them on and off really easy. Um, just a close look at the at the unit here, the transmitter. Um, this obviously didn't come with the transmitter. I added this to it. This is a a pressure switch, which you'd see on a lot of rifles and things for I don't know torches and IRs and X, Y, and Z. I had one lying around, so I cut it up and I wired it into this. But this is the unit on its own. And it actually comes with an aerial. So you get a bit of a more distance. So just looking a bit closer here, you have uh, your blade fuse here to protect the circuit. Um, obviously this is your actuator, your motor. Um, this is the uh, receiver for the wireless transmitter. Uh, it has a small relay in there for switching this on and off safely. Um, and this is uh, what I've added on just for um, the foot pedal. This is it without the extension lead on it. That's just in case the batteries run out in the, on this old, the wireless sender. And uh, this is the, bu uh, the buzz bear up here, the 
connect number. All very simple. Um, you'll buy this stuff. The transmitter and the receiver alone just cost a fiver from China. Very cheap. Um, blade fuse, a couple of euro. Uh, the actuator, I think, was a tenner or something. So you, you have the whole kit really for connections and everything for nothing. Uh, about 20 or 30 euro. This I had lying around, which I wired into this. Okay, so this is your wireless transmitter and to make it even better, it just sticks on the front of the gun like so. Uh, I have little Velcro stuck on here. That's it and there. And that's it. And when you're holding the gun, obviously you're using this hand, it'll be more like that. Uh, you just squeeze there as you, as you want to pull the clay. Uh, this all fits on the gun and gives you total ability to walk around with it, which I'll show you now. Okay, so we'll load up the trap. Now you will have to load this obviously manually every time, but the shooting of it is wireless. You can't have everything. Okay, so I just put our hands around the trigger of, shall I say, the wireless uh, press trigger. And when you're ready, just squeeze it. You're in position and pull. 